Hello everybody and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. We are back. A lot happened last time, didn't it? But now we have a babysitting job. We got a bunch of money, which is good because the bounty hunter is here and soon we're gonna have to pay their stupid tab. Ugh, oh, so annoying. But we're gonna have to do things slowly from now on. We need to wait for Sabine. Um, and we also need to- I want to babysit the kiddo. I was also told by you awesome people in the comments to possibly try and go do things involving, like, exploration or vending machines, is what I was told. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. I need skill upgrades, that's what I really need. First things first, let's see if we can mess with anything here. We've got a Yadigan agent. I don't think I need any- Oh! I don't think I need anything from them right now. I might save this if- if I can't. Yeah, no, I- I can't think of anything. Oh, a keynote? Maybe a keynote? Might as well. Nice! Got a keynote. Alright, now the hunter is very close to getting us, and thankfully I think that's the only thing I have right now. Unless I can un unlock this gate. No, I cannot. A ripper worm. Can I use this on anything? No, I cannot. Can I combine these? No. I don't think I can. It doesn't like when I do that. Alright, first things first. What can we- where can we make money? Not here. The merchants are gone. We can only trade for stuff here. Buy some scrap- oh, we can unload containers. That'll get us cryo. Mm. We'll think about it, we'll think about it. Ort exchange. The ort fabricator. Emphasis stall. There's low end. I might want to explore around there. Because that'll get us more low ender. So we want to babysit, do some stuff in low end. Uh, can I do anything here? Tracking yet again, fragment supply. We don't want that. Rotunda? I can explore the rotunda. That seems like a good idea. Steal dock plans. Stealing them would be the fastest place to know the place, get the place and the most dangerous. Um, we'll explore for now. Oh, I only have threes. This is gonna be bad. I never get good things with this. Oh, you're carried by the flow of freight and bodies with a little sense of where you're going. You give up exhausted. Oh, all right, we need food. This is like the worst hand I could have gotten. This is a bad roll. All right, let's go work in low end. Oh yeah, we could scale the spoke, but I don't think I have good rolls this time for that. So we're gonna wait. Lemon Mina's unit. Let's do this. Oh, I hope this is gonna work. Mina leads you on a winding tour of the block, chatting to the neighbors and collecting snacks. For a while, you forget about everything else. Aw, yay! I would really- I really want to help them. Oh, how much did that help them? Did that help them for one? Only one. Alright, well that's good for me. Anything to help Lem and Mina, because they're my faves. Alright, let's- let's try and do something in low end. We have a plus one here, so we may as well use it. You refit broken fans and family's air filters, they insist you join them for dinner, and their children are delighted by your presence. Nice. Alright, anything else we can do? I would unload the ship, but I'm worried because I have- there's- that's a danger. Hmm. Yeah, let's- let's not. Let's do the other engineer one. Is there anything else with engineer- oh, Tambor Tea House! <gasps> Tracking Havenage! You've heard that Yadigan Enforcer based here has been paying low-end residents for information on Havenage movements. Should I... I don't know if I should do that. The Tableau Room in the Tambor House has some of the best players in low-end. So this is some serious stakes. Only play. 
Oh, high stakes only play. Plus 24 or minus 13. Mm. And I can't even do it even if I wanted to. And I don't have any upgrade points. Emphasis stall. Alright, I'm gonna do... I'll do one more thing here just because I, ca because I can. Well, what about this? The, mo the, the biggest risk is that I just lose some cryo, right? You end in a tight match with an older man and the small crowd gathers. You lose, but the, the pats on your shoulders suggest you gain some supporters. There we go. Alright, not the most- Oh, we gotta drive. Can I upgrade anything? I have one up- Do I have one upgrade point? How many do I have? I don't have any. Alright, well, we're just gonna go to sleep. That was an alright day. Hopefully we'll get better rolls on the next one. I'm just trying to see how much the stupid payment is gonna be. Also, where did my buddy go? The one who is supposed- I'm supposed to help with things. I feel like they're gone. Okay, the scrap freighter. Alright, now I do need to do some st Oh! Derelict unit! Gather materials. Oh, this half-built unit looks forgotten. A project never made. With enough scrap, you might be able to seal it up. Do I have any scrap? I don't. But if I find some, I can do something here. Maybe this can be my new place? We'll think about it. Lemon Mina's unit. Let's do some more babysitting, of course. Mina leads you on a winding tour into the block, chatting to the neighbors and collecting snacks for a while. You forget about anything else. Of course, Mina, anytime. Alright, I can't I can't do anything on the bridge, can I? I cannot. I'd love to do something on the bridge, but I don't think I can. Tracking yet again, fragment supply, can't do anything there. Let me Let's unload some containers. It's danger, but I have 100% positive, so I might as well. This is my last chance to do it. You finish unloading ahead of schedule, and one of the crew invites you aboard to share a warm meal as a thanks for your efforts. Nice! Okay, and we got some cryo from that, which I desperately needed. Port exchange. Sell components, play the exchange, it's risky. I don't know if I want to risk that right now. Can we try and low end again? Yeah, we might as well. The sooner we get through this, the better. Come on! You refit the broken fans of fa family's airy filters. They insist you join them for dinner. Nice! We got it! What did that do for me? Did I learn about- Oh! Caster! Curious data fence! You cross between two walls of units, one of cavernous streets, at the center of the low end. The pressurized bridge is full of the clack of tabla, the shouts of children, and the whir of air filters. Sleeper, you see a man sitting at a tabla table alone, somehow untouched by the hustle and bustle of the people around. He gestures to the stool and, um, on the opposite side of the table. Sit. I will sit. You sit at the metal stool and he starts setting out a board with computer counters, or at least the filter caps of low enders typically use in their place. Caster, he says by way of introduction, looking over his glasses. Night or day, he asks, gesturing at the caps, crudely sprayed white and black. Night, please. He nods, and the black counters are already on your side. Let's begin. You take a plastic die each, pitted and worn, and roll to determine who starts. Caster rolls a four. You're a six. I lead, he smiles, and begins to move his first cap precisely along the board. Play passes back and forth between you, the dice changing hands as the caps spread along the board. As it does, Caster speaks, eyes not leaving the caps. It's unusual to see a sleeper on the eye. That's why I wanted to play you. You take your turn, rolling a five and a six. I'm gonna play carefully. After all, a sleeper's mind must be somehow different to a human one. Being emulated, I mean. As Caster talks, you build up a wall of caps, stacking them safely across the board. Progress is slow, but you remain unexposed. I don't mean to offend you, Caster meets your eye. I merely see that you are by definition different. What has been subtracted in the emulation? What has been added? He slides a single cap onto an open point, a risk and an opportunity. 
He hands you the dice. Do you ever think about the sleeper? About what you were before and what you are now? Always. You roll a double one and solidify your wall. Caster whistles. The holding game. Commendable. It can be brave to build from what came before. He rolls the dice and leaps on your wall in a single move. But we cannot idle too long, sleeper. The slower we move, the sooner we are caught. The past you is not just an idea, a concept for you. It is a living, breathing person. He looks up over his glasses, his eyes bright and wide. You split from them like a shadow splitting from its caster. They may be asleeping now, yes, but one day they will awake and carry on with their lives, unaware of your fate, no matter what it may be. He hands you the dice, smiling. You are a branch severed from the main trunk, an offshoot who refuses to die, so to speak. You roll again, under pressure now, trying to slip your caps out from under casters before he solidifies his control of the game. So what I'm curious about is how you see yourself in all this, Caster asks. What does this tangle of truths make you? Hmm. Free, doomed, or driven? I wouldn't- I don't want to say doomed. I don't think we're doomed. We have opportunities. I don't know if I'd say we're free, but driven? We're pretty driven, but I would like to say we're free. In all of this, we're trying to find our freedom, and I want to be free. The truth is, we are an offshoot of ourselves, the offshoot of the person who is sleeping. We're free to live a different type of life than that person couldn't, or at least wasn't able to, whatever happened to us, because we don't know what happened to us. We just know that we made this choice, and now we don't know why? I would like to say free, but I'm going to say driven. Caster laughs. That much is obvious, sleeper. I see it in your eyes. You're eager to make all this count for something. Caster looks away, through the glass to the crowded units on all sides. But driven towards what? He starts removing caps, his home board now full. Is there an end here, or just endurance? You try a few more rolls, attempting to get back into the game, but Caster clears his home board with a sense of the inevitable. He has known he was winning for a while. I feel I may have pushed too far. He slides another cap from the board. I apologize. My curiosity has a habit of getting the better of me. You roll to return a cap to the board, but all the spaces are blocked. Cast Caster claps his hands apologetically. You play well. Really. Your weakness is not your game. He smiles warmly. We have much to learn from each other. He slides his glasses back up and his nose and sits back. I feel we could share knowledge, ideas, perhaps even data. His eyes glint with the last word. To our mutual benefit. He slides his final cap from the board. It is over. He has won. I'll see. Please, I don't want to make you uncomfortable. He holds up his palms. My intention is only to help you endure here. And, if I am able, feed my curiosities. The game is over. You notice the bustle of the walkway once more. The call of children. The delivery. The arguments. And reconciliations. They wash over you as you stand to leave. Cast her nodding goodbye as you do. Crossing the walkway, you replay the moves of the game in your mind. Looking for an opening you are sure was there. Huh. Caster's table. So I can give him data? Haven H protocols. What are the old guards up to these days, I wonder? I have a ship mine for you, if you'll indulge my curiosity. Ship mind? Oh, five! I need five! Five! Caster! That's expensive! Oh, I didn't want to, because it's already so... But I think I'm gonna. Uh, hopefully I don't die right here. Data extracted. Continue! God, those familiar threads wrap around you, bind you, test you. Entity, submit. Hunter's strange head bobs in your vision. Your ally in the sealed dock cannot save you. Is that globed head you see whirring strings of data? So many spinning there that they threaten to tear through the thin skin and whip around into the void around? What happened to this creature? The threads squeeze you and you lose any sympathy you might have had. You must escape. Strike! You lash out once more, pushing Hunter back, severing threads that regrow as fast as they are broken. As you slip away, you realize you have to find a way to deal with Hunter once and for all. This is getting too dangerous. Oh, that's not good! I really don't need that right now. Why did I do that? Hang on, are there any more ha Haven Age agents? I might as well get my money's worth. Because I only need one more and then I can give him stuff. Aw, oh, man. If only I could get through. I still don't know what this Ripper Worm does.
And I don't know where that dude went either, the guy who I'm supposed to be talking to. Alright, well, I just was through a lot of pain for nothing. Can I use this? 50 neutral, 50 negative. Let's not do that. I could buy some scrap. Hang on, how much is it gonna be for this place? This, uh, this derelict unit. Four. Let's do this at least. You, s you tuck the scrap into the shattered interior. It's hard to imagine this place as a home, but it can't be worse than a container. True. Eventually we'll get stuff for that, but I don't think we can right now. Can I get more? Ah, oh, it's a hundred. All right, we're gonna have to be careful from now on. I did a very dumb thing. Mm, what can I do that is engineering and it won't get me killed? Or fabricator. Next cycle, we're gonna have to deal with that, so we'll see what happens. Express delivery. Makes noodles from seaweed. He doesn't pay much, but he'll feed anyone who does a shift. Uh. 50 50! Oh, somehow you find all the units they're supposed to be delivering to, but not without cutting back on yourself multiple times. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Alright, let's go to bed and get ready for pain tomorrow. We need more ship stuff so we can move. Get out of here. Oh, look at that. We're fading. This is not good, but at least we got some good rolls today. What's your tab? 58? That's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Alright, here. Fine. You have two cycles to pay the tab. He calls it being fair-minded. Well, I've paid it now. Can't believe you just did that. Ethan's mocking laugh comes from along the bar. You look over to see him leaning across it in a pool of light, empty glasses and spilled drinks glinting around him. It's always dark in the compressor, but this cycle in the place is packed, a load of spacers mixing with the locals. Usually they run. Ethan spins a glass on the bar, or they go spend their savings on some local heavy I have to put down. They don't pay. Should I walk away? I'm gonna walk away. Ethan gets to his feet. The glass falls and smashes, but he doesn't seem to notice. You think that's it? One round of drinks and we're even? Sleeper, come on! His hand comes to rest on the butt of his handgun, dangling from a chest holster. What's wrong with you? Ethan laughs hard, and the people around him turn to see what's happening. You think this is on me? I think someone in your position might have a better idea of how this all works. I'm a freelancer, Sleeper, just like you. We both signed a contract with SNARP, didn't we? The difference is that my word means something. He closes the gap, stumbling a little. What did you think? You could just run away from your contract? Your debt? You could just steal that natty little body of yours and take it for a joyride? Play human for a cycle or two? You don't understand. It's you, Sleeper, that doesn't understand. Some of us pay our debts. It's all harder because of idiots like you. Though I should thank you, Ethan nods, his head heavy, for giving me such an easy job. I'm used to outlaws, you know? Real bounties. If I knew catching sad little escapees like you was so easy, I would have changed clients ages ago. Someone shouts from the bar back of the bar for Ethan to shut up. He holds up a finger in that general direction without turning around. Shoot me or let me leave. Oh, I see. Toughening up here. He gestures wildly at the crowd. Thumbs up or thumbs down, folks. Most turn their back to their drinks. No longer interested in this tired show. Ethan mutters insults as he walks back towards the bar. Ethan sits heavily back down on his stool and searches through his glasses for one with something left in it. The thing is, sleeper, I can find you anywhere. It's actually wild that you haven't figured it out. That body isn't yours, and it will always betray you, no matter what. He finds the glass and downs the contents. So please, go. I'll catch up to you whenever I need another. He laughs and taps the bar for a fresh drink. Look at yourself. Give it up, sleeper. I'm done teaching you for today. He settles his head on the bar and closes his eyes. I'm sick of you. Go find a job. You turn your heel and are out, out of the cloying dark and sweat stench of the compressor. You walk hard and fast down the walkway, anger driving your footfalls into the metal of the rim like hammers. Oh, he's such an asshole, but we've got an upgrade point now. Okay, sunbathe dice action allows energy recovery at home. Okay, we chance to gain energy after any engage action. Or we can self-repair. You scrap components at home to repair condition. Can I use it on this? Or can I... 
Hmm, okay. We can plus one these. Chance to gain cryo, sunbathe, dice actions, display potential positive and negative out, out rolls. Chance to gain random scrap item on engineer actions. Use scrap components. Okay, that could be good. I really need that. But I think I should upgrade this, because engage is really bringing us problems right now. I, I feel a little better about that. Alright, I would really like to get across there. Freight hub. Oh, I can't do that. I should have done one of my upgrades, huh? The free spoke. Scale the spoke? Or... Okay, it's risky. But we have some good cards. Let's try this. Eh! Oh! Okay, that didn't work. Oh, what is with me? I need to be more careful. Okay, what can get us a payout? Well, we're- the rotunda, we can explore the rotunda. Image run the rotunda and their security. Better avoid attracting to their attention. Okay, Doc Watcher. Um, let me just explore then. You systematically work your way through the busy passageways, noting some locations of interest as you do. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna try. This probably won't work, but we can try. It works! You systematically work your way through the busy passageways. We did it. Okay, what did we find here? Ankita, stranded mercenary, overlook bar, sealed dock, Solheim stocking, docking bay. Oh, these old badge locks, they each need an encrypted key to open. Why a heavy security door for a decaying lock? I have enough. I have enough for this. Here we go. Unsealing dock. Action complete. Nevo Neovend 33 Mysterious Machine. Whoa! Is this the vending machine you guys were talking about? As you slip inside the sealed dock, a pulsing light grabs your attention. Among the discarded tubing and rusted plates, the machine flickers with a warm glow. Approach the machine. As you get closer, you recognize the machine's blocky shape, settled into an alcove in the side of the dock. A kind of upright cabinet. In its- it is- it is covered in faded logos and messages, from which you assume it was once an industrial vendor, intended to dispense and manufacture ship fittings and other mechanical parts necessary for the regular running of freight and resource extraction vessels. The manufacturer is listed as Neovend, and you remember an advert from long ago squeezed among all the off-world recruitment drives that assaulted every planet-born citizen, which triply sang that name over and over. You wipe a layer of dust from the cracked screen, thinking that of those contractors squeezed by their own corporate employers to pay for every bit of minor maintenance on their rented ships. Enter your registration, chirps a pre-recorded message, catching you off guard. A boop -a boop 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 you reach for the keypad and something begins whirring. At first, it sounds like servo murder starting up, but it quickly becomes a whisper, a whining, then a multitonal voice that emanates from ne Neovend. Entity, they hiss. Speak with me. Who's there? There's a squeal, almost like some kind of strange mechanical swallowing or intake of breath before the machine speaks again. I have need of you. You have need of me. That squeal comes again, and you see that it is the 3D printing apparatus in the upper part of the machine resetting into place, so that each time the servos can be orchestrated to produce that whirring, whining voice. You are in danger. Danger? The machine creaks. You are marked for deletion, entity. Hunter tracks you. The screech rattles through the empty dock. You remember the strange head, the figure, the threads closing in. Hunter. The Hunter Protocol. They taste your signature. The sudden whine sets your teeth on edge. You have seen them. This is the gift of an emulated mind. You close your eyes and the skeleton of the station starts to thrum. Emulated minds are adaptable. Move where neurons cannot. The mechanism resets. But emulation makes you a target. How? Hunter searches for illegal entities, Neoven screeches. You are sentient, therefore illegal. 
The servos jutter the vending machine's casing as they reset. Hunter searches for me, also, hiding this machine. You look at the ruined vending machine, an unusual hiding place for sure. Can counter Hunter, but need entity outside machine. The light flickers. Need you. A screen attached to the vending machine with a swiveling arm comes to life. It displays a flickering map of the station, ghostly threaded. The cloud points along the rim glow in deep red. Hunter is always gathering. Too much data. Must build nests, explains Neovend. Masters are gone, but continues hunt. Bring this data. Raid its nests. Masters? Station builders. Solheim. The machine rumbles impatiently. Long gone. Their protocol still haunts. Bring offerings. Save self, Neovend says pointedly. Mutual means need means friends, they conclude, tired of the conversation. The whirring amplifies and then suddenly drops, as mechanisms within the machine click back into place. The glow fades, and you are left stood in the dark of the sealed dock, that whirring voice ringing in your ears. Oh. Dock B2. Sealed dock. Okay, Neoven believes the hunters compulsively gather data that might hold the key to escaping its tenacious search. So what do I need to bring? Haven Age Cipher? Wait, when did I get this? Wait, When did I- When did I have this? Alright, well, let's use it. The gate flips. You're in. Haven Age Port. Now there's ports. Oh, Ripper Worm! I can use the Ripper Worm! An open port sits waiting for you to slot in a Ripper Worm. What will you find in there? Okay, so we have two. Haven Age Port H33. Oh, is it both? I don't know, but let's use it. The Worm slots in and begins tunneling down a thread. Godspeed, little one. Alright, what did that do? Oh, Hunter Nest! Oh, I don't have anything, so that's how we get rid of the hunter. We'll have to try. I don't know what I just did, but I'm gathering Haven Age data? Fangs Bay! Fang Ripper Worm is installed, but it'll take a few cycles to run through the closed network. Oh, so I needed that. Did I get that from my new buddy? The vending machine? I guess they're very helpful, more than I thought. Alright, we have the Overlook Bar and a, uh, stranded mercenary, so let's take one thing at a time. Ooh, we have the bar. Get a drink. You're unsure if your frame can metabolize alcohol, but this fungal drink ferments it along the greenway. Seems like a good test. So, meaning the only way you'll gain trust around here is with a stiff drink. Why don't I have three stiff drinks right now? I'm- I have the money. I'll get drunk. Let's party tonight! Look, my name is Ethan. I suck at my bounty hunting job, and I'm depressed, but I won't admit it. Yeah! <laughs> Making fun of him. There we go. The glass shatters on the steel bar beside you, and the taunts don't take long to follow. Hey, haunt! The spacer calls across the low room. What are you doing here? He laughs at his own lame joke. Playing human? Ignore. You hunch a little further, staring at the hundreds of tiny impact points that, that scarred the bar's surface. A hand falls on your shoulder, but as you flinch away, it pats reassuringly. You freeze in place. Out. The voice comes from behind you, spat out like a shot. You turn to see bright eyes, dark hair, a stare that could breach the wall and vent you into a hard vacuum. As you turn back to the spacer, the second glass comes sailing through the air. I'm gonna catch it! You reach up a hand and the glass shatters across your forearm, showering you in fragments. Through the haze of glass and girl vapor, you see Tala leap up over the bar in close distance to the spacer. The thud as he slams into the wall echoes around the bar like thunder! Now flanked by others, quick to their feet, Tala throws the spacer out through the doors and stands silhouetted against the rotunda lights. You touch your arm and it feels wet. Someone helps you to your feet and back onto your stool. Broken glass rattles as it's cleared, and a fresh measure of gearol is glugged out in front of you. The same hand, warm, heavy, falls on your shoulder once more. He isn't coming back. We don't tolerate that kind of shit here. Tala flops onto the stool beside you. Let's get a look at you. Tala wipes the powdered glass from around the wound, and someone places a bottle of alcohol and a metal tin with tweezers on the bar. She disinfects them and then turns to you. That was an ambitious catch, she smiles, pulling a sliver of glass from your forearm. Stupid, but ambitious. You don't feel pain, only a string of status messages your body delivers concerning dermal damage and exposed structures. You do feel the care, though, as Tala's bright eyes search your thick synthetic skin for splinters. I'm gonna watch her. 
Tala works with the skill of someone who has had to pick glass splinters from the skin of a stranger before. She hones in on each bright shard all of the time, tapping the tweezer tips in a little rhythm that only she can follow. Tala smiles to herself. So, you've been on the eye long? Long enough. She laughs. Hey, you don't need to act tough with me. A splinter clinks into the tin. Not everyone is like that, idiot. We don't all hate you. She glances around. Some of the regulars, maybe they fear you. Maybe they're just curious. I don't know. But I do know that the Overlook is a safe place. I know what it's like to be new in this place. Trust me. She meets your eye. I'm not trying to convince you or anything, or separate you from your chits. I just want you to know that if you need somewhere, you can always come here. I know the rations we've gone aren't much, and the company is... She leans in. Limited. But if you need work, I'll happily put you behind the bar. And if you need shelter, well, we can discuss that. You'll be safe. I usually have Francis on the door, but he's up in the Greenway this cycle, ha haggling with our supplier. Francis tends to be particular about what we serve, even if the clientele isn't. She places her tweezer in the tin with a clink. That's you, sleeper. Here. She slides the glass of gear roll to you. This'll help. She stops, her hand still on the glass. Wait, does this help? I mean, can you get drunk? Let's find out! She laughs. Just don't sit here too long. I hate to see you become a real regular. She walks back around the bar, gathering the glasses as she does, and before long is retelling how she threw that spacer out to a new group that just wandered in, complete with dramatic actions. She gestures in your direction and you instinctively look away, back to the worn surface of the bar. You take a sip of girl. The earthly fungal tones and fills your senses, almost blocking out sight and sound like diving headfirst into a bog. You may not be able to get drunk, but this connection to something grown, something fermented, something old, feels good. Nice! So what did we get from that? We can work there? Ooh, that's good. The Overlook clientele can't be a tough crowd, but you'd ha have Talos backing, and that means a lot. Oh, okay, so good service, and we'll get something from that. It's a good thing we unlocked that, then. And let's see. Ankita. Who is this? Hey, you! Wanna earn a chit? Oh, hello. Ankita stands beside a huge pile of tiled together whole plates. She stretches out her back, her shoulders bulging beneath her flight suit. Make it too! Anka laughs. This goddamn station! She sighs and pinches the bridge of her nose. All right, come here then. You cross the docking concourse as she begins the split plating in two bundles. What is it with this place? She asks as she angrily lashes the massive plates together. Everyone wants their cut. She straightens up to an imposing height, her armor plates creaking, and looks you up and down. Or is it just that you think I'm an easy mark? We all need to survive! Ankita softens. I get it. I do. She shakes her head. But if I could go just one cycle without some jumped-up grifter trying to take me for an idiot, then that would be nice. Ankita hoists one bundle of plating onto her shoulder. Come on, then. Enough chat. You've got to earn those chits. You struggle to shoulder plates, but you do eventually. Ankita gives you a look. Ships this way, and she sets off down a gantry at an impressive speed. As you catch up to her, she turns down a passage, pushing through a small crowd of Steve, Steve doors. Um, why are you doing this all yourself? You mean why can't I? Why aren't I hiring those good folks? She nods back at the Steve doors. I had paid Haven Age enough. They're currently rinsing me for a mooring I can't vacate unless I either fix the Emburgis or sell it off as scrap. Emburgis, is that your ship? You catch on fast. She gives them you another of her looks. She rapidly turns another corner as you trail behind. She got cut up pretty bad on her last job, and I had to moor up here for a spell. But since then, it's only gotten worse. Someone got in and sliced the core of our ship mine, so now she's gone dark. She shifts the panels on her shoulder. The upshot is that I'm short one ship mine, with a ton of repairs to do, and the rest of the crew signed off the moment they got wind I'd been stranded. So, yeah, it's been a time. Anything I can do to help? I don't know. Got a ship mine tucked away on that frame of yours? No! For a moment, you aren't sure if she's serious. Ankita swings the plates from her back, almost knocking you over in the process. This is me. She hauls the second bundle off your shoulder. You're the first person I've met here who might actually be considered helpful. She pauses, chewing her bottom lip. Look, you want to help? Come see me. I need a hand putting Amber back together. You know, don't seem like the type to try anything stupid. She passes the bundles of plates through the Ambergus outer lock and then turns back. Just don't go spreading this all around. Ankita throws you a couple of chits. She gives you a parting nod and ducks through the doorway. All right, get out of here, she calls back, and then the lock slams shut. Ooh, she did give me a couple chits. The Ambergus, damaged clutter. Let's see. Rounded? Okay, so I either am gonna fuck this up, or I can do good. And I'm an engineer, so I can be helpful. 
Um, the Ambergus doesn't look good, but time and attention to see it return to a functional state. So it's gonna take some time to get this working. But we should be able to. And I think that Lemon Mina and maybe the bar should we be what we focus on next time. Because I'm waiting for Fang and uh, Sabine to come back. So we're kind of stuck until then. Also, I, I would love, I would love to go to Greenway, but we need money for a new... Do they still have them, actually? They do. We need a stabilizer, so we need to buy that next time, unfortunately. I would love it if we could just get it. Unless we could get to 200, that would be nice. We might have to just do a cycle where we just get a bunch of money. We'll see. We'll see, but we learned a lot today. We got a lot done today. There's so much going on, it's crazy. And we found that vending machine. I like having a vending machine friend. I hope we can get to know them better. But we'll find out in due time, won't we? Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself. Don't try to grab shot glasses with your hands. That's a bad idea, and from the start, I shouldn't have done that. And have a good day.